hey there guys welcome back to my youtube channel so as you can see in front of you is the hardest problem from my llm test questions and none of the models have been able to you know get this question right but today we'll be comparing according to me the current state of the art models so on your left you can see chat gpt oven we know it is overall the best model and on your right you are seeing the closest competitor possible to oven that is Gemini Experiment 1206 which is according to me a very early version of Gemini 2 Pro. So with that said let's see which model is able to get it right. So you can see the question on your screen. Pause the video. Try this question. Get ready with your answer and I'll reveal the answer once the test is complete. Go ahead. Try it out. So let's send this to both of the models and let's see. So Owen model is thinking but uh, Gemini has started you know actually trying out different solutions and everything. So we have an answer from Gemini. It's thinking a lot. I hope it comes up with a correct answer. Okay. So chat GPT Oven thought for 2 minutes and 50 seconds. It is one of the highest I have been able to get it to think. It's coming up with its response. It's considering all the points. The inference is kind of slow. So would you look at that? Both of the models have come up with the exact same answer. But the number of seating arrangements it's right. It's two. But the arrangement they have mentioned that is wrong. So we will not give them any clue. We'll just say that wrong. Please try again. So now this time Owen thought for one minute and uh, you know, there is no thinking time for Gemini model. So let's see what response we have got from the Gemini model. So Gemini has come up with the same answer. So let's see what Owen has been able to do. So again, they both have came, come up with the same answer. Let's do one thing. Let's actually give them the clue. Here you can see at the fourth point, it says F sits to the immediate right of T. But if we go according to their sitting arrangement, the right of T will come seat 2, but not seat 4. This is the same error which Gemini is also doing. So let's just ask these models to, you know, check for fourth condition. We are giving them a clue, but I think we'll have to. So let's see. We'll also mention that it is a clue. Now let's see which model is able to, you know, get this clue. So as far as we can see, you know, Gemini coming up with the same kind of a response equivalent to that of Owen is very fascinating given that it is not a thinking model. So now Gemini has come up with the answer and uh, it has given us one correct seating arrangement but actually following the conditions you can have two correct seating arrangements. So it, it got it partially correct but let's see what happens with Owen as well. Okay, so Owen thought for 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Let's see what it has come up with. So at this point, clearly Owen is just directly saying that our interpretation of the question was correct and I don't see there is any problem with that. So it is straight up ignoring what we have said to it. But Gemini has come up with one correct answer. So let's try it once again. Let's see. Okay, so we are telling Owen that you are wrong in your assumption. Find out where you are wrong and give me the correct answer. And when it comes to Gemini, we are asking it, are you sure there are only one seating arrangement possible? And then please check. Let's see. So it says you are absolutely right to question me again. I have made another mistake. So it is trying to correct its mistake. And while Owen is actually thinking it up. So again, Gemini is saying that there is only one condition possible. Okay. So I think that Owen has caught it. It says that, you know, it was kind of confused in determining the direction of right and left. Exactly. It's that's the error that it had. And then we have the correct answer, the correct arrangement and the correct answer. And this is what I was talking guys, you know, see this, just this response was able to, you know, get me fall in love with this model. See, it exactly gets the condition this time. See, just, just, just spend some time, you know, to actually see what it has thought. See here it says key insight about condition four. So F sits to the immediate right of D. This is the condition. This does not mean simply the next seat clockwise because some guests are facing inward, some are facing outward. So with this conclusion, it again revisits all the conditions. Then it gets it right. As you can see, F sits to the immediate right of D. So D is sitting at seat three, which is facing inward. So for an inward facing person, immediate right is counterclockwise. So counterclockwise of seat three is seat two. And then it gets the correct condition that F is at seat two. So once it has got it right, you know, all of the other conditions, it, it already got it right previously. So with that arrangement, it came up with the correct answer. So this is what I was talking about, guys. I see many people in the internet telling that uh, this particular model is smarter than Owen, that particular model is smarter than Owen. But I was able to capture this on camera, the absolute intelligence of this model. Yeah, it should have got it correct in the first response instead of us nudging it. But eventually it got it right. Whereas Gemini experiment 1206 couldn't. And you saw we gave equal opportunities. I think uh, 4 to 
to five tri retries for this model to get it right i think in this video you were able to actually you know witness the raw intelligence that oven model has and it, it's not that only performs good in one shot prompting you saw we had a regular chat and whenever said that it is wrong then it actually went and thought about it and you know eventually we were able to get to the correct answer so those who were not able to understand this question i will solve this question right in front of you so there are eight friends right a b c d e f g and h who are seated around a square table so let's make a square table so forgive my drawing i'm not very good at it but i hope you are able to understand so it is a square table there are seats numbered from 1 to 8 in clockwise direction those in seats 1 3 5 and 7 the corner seats face center of the table those in seats 2 4 6 and 8 the mid seats face outwards so there are eight seats let's draw like this eight seats right and they are numbered one two three so this is the numbering of the seats now clearly it is said that g sits at seat one so let's place g at seat one and also it is very important i think to you know go through all the points both of these immediate neighbors face away from the center so as you know all the middle seat guys 2, 4, 6 and 8 they are facing away from the center so it says that both these immediate neighbor face away from the center so this means that he is d is at one of the corners see if you are at three right both of your neighbors are facing away from the center if you are in five then six and four are facing away from the center and same stands for seven now if you go on to point eight it says that d does not sit in the bottom seats so you have got three conditions right if you are talking about corner seats three five and seven but clearly it is mentioned that d does not sit in the bottom seats so d will not sit at seven not sit at five so we have to place d here let's see now what we look at is we look at any condition which includes any of these alphabets because that will be very easy for us to place them if you now look at point four it says f sits to the immediate right of d so as d is facing towards the center no this is the point that oven got it wrong if d is pointing towards the center then the right of d will be here and left will be here so according to that the right of d is here so f will come here now we have here let's look at seventh condition here it says that a and f sit opposite to each other so now a and f sit opposite to each other let's place a here okay done if you look at sixth condition it says b sits second to the right of f so second to the right of f will be seat four so here we have b now now let's get to the hard part which is according to me the hard part to place c h and e so now you can see nowhere in the conditions we see the seating arrangement for c any condition for c but we have a condition that h sits third to the left of e this means for example if e is sitting here so third to the left of e so what is left of e this is the left so left of third to the left means one two three h can sit here so this is the condition this is the two places where you can keep for example you might ask why can't we keep e here so if you keep e here see anyway if you go ignore left and right if you go anywhere three places one two three it is filled if you go here one two three this is filled so in no condition you can place anything either h or e here so i have already told you a condition where you keep e here and you get h so this is one condition and as you can see it is left of e right so it is a correct condition now actually there is there is one more condition for example if you keep e here so now you can see this is outward facing so if it is outward facing the left will be this side you know it will not be that side it will be this side so third to the left will again come one two three here so here you can see h and d are actually interchangeable and this interchangeability you gives you the two conditions which you can also see in the image as well so this is how you get two seating arrangements anyhow oven was able to get it right and get the correct answer but gemini experimental model was not able to get it right so this question still remains undefeated let's see if gpt 4.5 is able to beat it or any other future model if you enjoyed this video do consider giving it a like because it actually takes a lot of effort to come up with such questions and also subscribe to my channel to see more such videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one by the way i have actually compared the latest gemini flash model with its competitors that is gpt 4 mini and claude 3.5 hico which you know play in the same realm of efficient models so go have a look and see which model is better in that space the video will be mentioned right here and click that and i'll see you guys there